This is an oil change. It is a full synthetic oil change. You want to use a 020 weight oil on this. Your oil filter is going to be a uh, S10158 if you're using STP or just 10158. 6.55 quarts is what it calls for, just a hair over six and a half quarts. So you're gonna pull off your cap right here, which is just right next to your battery. We're gonna go underneath. You're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench. Oh, I'm sorry, socket on this one because it actually goes up underneath. Let me get you under here. So this one is draining now. Your bolt is right through this oval hole, right there. You're gonna pull it out and let that drain. It's just about done now. Let's see, where's the oil filter location on this one? Let me find that for you real fast. Okay hey guys, and to check the oil, after you fill it up, you're gonna pull the dipstick right here. Look down, you have two dots on your dipstick. This is low, this is full. So make sure it's up to that amount. And what you wanna do is once you change the filter, I'll show you where that's at and then um, you're going to fill it up, fire it up, run it for about five, six seconds, shut it off, pull this out, wipe it, and check it again to make sure it is full. The distance between this dot and this dot is about one quart, if that helps, if you're a little bit low. Okay, and then you're gonna go to the battery here for the oil filter, go straight down, and if you look real closely, this cap comes off, and Right there is where you're going to put the socket straight out here. You can turn it at this point or you can put a wrench right in here. And that is going to be a 21 millimeter. So you're going to take that off. It's an internal cartridge and then uh, pull it out. Make sure you replace that O-ring comes with it in the filter. Put the filter in and the O-ring in and you're good to go. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.